know about me and you still don't know Hey guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is Ashley make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you press the bell for notifications and if you are not new <laughs> you already know what it is what's happening <laughs> what's happening this is a part two to the story time of when I was about to get popped on <laughs> I make myself laugh okay so I left off the last story time of when I basically got suspended. I didn't get suspended for fighting because we did not fight. I got suspended because it wasn't my lunch period and I provoked the altercation. Which to this day still doesn't make sense like who gets suspended for that but whatever. Basically, um, I get... I get inside the dean's office and first thing they do, they ask me for my mother's number. This is the first school that I've been to where it's just like they don't even ask you what happened. Like they're straight to just snitch and it's just like, yo, this is, this is, this is why. <laughs> so I was shook. Like the first instinct I did, like I didn't even give them my mother's number. I gave them my number. I gave them my number. Good thing, by that time, either my, I don't remember if my phone was dead, but all I know is that joint went straight to voicemail. I don't know if I had it on airplane mode. I don't know what I did to my phone, but they called my phone first because that's the number that I gave. No one picked up the phone, so is there another, you know, number I can reach your parents at? I'm like, no, because that's my mother's number. And they were, then they went to, um, you know that blue form? That blue form, you know when, okay, there's like a, when you first get into school, like there's like this blue card where you have to fill out like your emergency contact. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. This is like a blue, this blue card, but I'm the one who filled that card out. So like, again, only my number was on the blue card. So, um, I was just in the office. They tried the number again. They did not reach anybody. Cause again, it's my number and I was not about to turn my phone on for nobody. So finally, he left a message. He left a message on my phone saying that, um, you know, because he thought it was my mom. He was just like, um, we need you to come in to discuss what happened. It's not a third. Basically giving them a rundown of, like, you know, your daughter is in the principal's office and her ass is about to get suspended. So they left a message and I couldn't go back to my classes. Mind you, I get out at ninth period and it was only fourth period lunch. I'm just like, yo, I'm about to be here all day. They was like, you can't leave school right now. You have to wait until your classes is over or have someone pick you up. So I'm there for the whole day because, again, I can't call anybody because, like, nobody know. They was like, bring your mother to school tomorrow. I'm like, oh. I'm like, First of all, how? In my head, I'm just like, yo, my mother is going to ask me why didn't they call. That's one. And I can't even say that they didn't call. I can't, I can't tell her that I gave them my number because I panicked. I can't say that they didn't call because they did. Like, there's just no lying to my mother. Like, that woman seemed right to me, okay? So, I'm just like, you know, I'm just wasting all my classes now because ain't nobody finna pick me up today. Like, I am not getting in trouble. So, they was like, you have to bring your mother up to school the next day. Next day I come. Like, when, and when you coming in, like, you have to show them your schedule, and you have to show them your ID, or else they're not letting you in. Show them my schedule and ID. My dean recognized my face, yo. He was, like, to my office, and, he, and the security guard escorted me to his office. I'm like, yo, never did I ever need an escort. Like, never. And then the security guard is holding me by my elbow. Don't touch me. So, yeah, that's that. Escorted me to the office. After, um... And some people come in first period, second period, and third period. I come in, that day I had came in second period, so I had to wait until after third period was done because he checks IDs and um, schedules from when people come in. So I had to wait to third period to see him. He's like, um, where's your mom? I said, she has work. He was like, do you have her work number? And I slipped up and said, yes. And I slipped up and said, yeah, that's where I messed up. So I was like, oh my God, he about to call my mother. I was like, nope. Not today. Boom. Gave them my aunt number. My aunt, like, she... Shout out to you because 
Number one, my aunt was gonna come. She was gonna pull up that same day. And he was like, no, it has to be your mom or your dad. I was like, my mother is not coming up to this school because she hears I was fighting. My mother is not doing that. One thing about my mother, she's not gonna waste her time coming to school. Like, she's gonna look at me like I'm stupid. It's Cause it's just like, why are you skipping class? Like, it's just so many things wrong with the situation and my mom just don't like her time being wasted. So I told the Dean straight, like, my mother is not coming up here. So boom. The next three days, he's still calling my, um, he's calling my aunt number, but my aunt is not picking up. So my aunt finally picks up. Like, I text, I went to the bathroom, texted her, told her what's up. And I was like, yo, pretend to be my mother and come up here because they're not letting me go to class. This was going on for four days. Every day, same thing. Go to my office. You're not going to class until your mom comes up to the school. Four days into the, after the situation, I like, I could have been off suspension had I just told my mother, like, now that I think about it, oh my goodness. So four days, this been happening for four days. They didn't go to class for four days because I'm sitting in the office all day. Can't leave the office until my class is done knife period and i'm just like oh my god like this is really a stretch so i was like hmm, he don't know how my mother look so my other aunt my aunt that was gonna come we look nothing alike we look this we kind of look the same age like we're not that many years apart we're like four or five years apart like so it was just like yo i can't even play that off and my other aunt that did come she looks like a mom so she came she came the fifth day. She came the fifth day, and I didn't tell her that, you know, pretend to be my mom. I told her, he thinks you're my mother, so just go along with it. She gonna tell me no. She's gonna tell me no. She's like, I'm not lying for you. So then, he finally comes out, he's like, mom? She goes, no, I'm her aunt. Like, come on, like, that's where you messed up? Like, why you did that to me? Like. Now I really, now I really got, now I really got to tell my mother because he not letting me go, he not letting me go to class. Like, I done missed the whole test and social studies. And it's just like, yo, are you serious right now? The fifth day, my dean called my real mother. She was like, she's not coming for me. And she didn't let me stay home. So she, I told her that they're not letting me go to class after sitting in the office. She let me sit in that office. She let me sit in the office the whole entire day and made me think about what I've done. So, my mother ended up coming to the school on the seventh day. So, the sixth day, she made me wait because it's just like, you should have told me from jump. And then on the seventh day, she came. Went over the whole situation. My mother was furious. She was blacking on me in front of everybody. And it's just like, all oh, these people is Caucasian too. So, was they just looking at me. They heard, like my mom is talking to the dean while I'm outside, wait about to come in because they were discussing how um like I've been going back and forth saying and now my dean is looking at me like I'm crazy because it's just like but you told me that was your mom because I was really telling him like yo like I was lying until I could not lie anymore and it just wasn't working out son I was just like yo that is my mom what are you talking about until my aunt blew cover like no I'm not her mother I'm her aunt because you know my, my aunt say this stuff like I mean. Ain't nobody disrespecting you or whatever the case was, but you know, like, you couldn't just let me rock for that one day. Like, come on, son. Like, are you serious right now? Like, are you serious? Like, are you, like, come on, son. My God, like. And then I got suspended for the extra three days for the altercation. I could have been went back to class, yo. But, you know, I guess that's just my fault. That's the end of the story time. <sighs> Hope you guys liked it again. If you want to see more of these videos, just let me know because trust me I got a lot of stories like I said. <laughs> I got a lot You feel me? So don't forget to like subscribe share all that good stuff. Tell your mother tell your uncle tell your grandfather <laughs> Tell your cousin all that all that <laughs> and I'm out peace She peeped that we were weak and she comes over to me. This is where you messed up She comes over to me like um Oh, with something funny y'all laughing and you looking at me sweetie i was not looking your way at all like you wouldn't even know that if i was looking at you if i really was looking at you if you wasn't looking at me so what are you talking about